This message is for believers, not unbelievers. For unbelievers, you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and let him come into your life and change your life. You will receive the gift of everlasting life. That's the most important thing is that your soul will live forever. The message today is for believers, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and sound mind. Self-discipline. A conformed mind. A mindset that is on God, where your thoughts revolved around righteousness and holiness. Fear is not of God. We know that fear is really at the foundation of anxiety and depression. Jesus came to free us from all those things, all these consequences of our negative thoughts, negative thinking, negative behavior. So if you're a believer and you find yourself in fear, this is not where God wants you to be. It is said that fear not is in the Bible 365 times, which is every day. There's one fear not for every single day. Why do you think that it is necessary for God to tell us that? Because as people, we are prone prone to fear. We are predisposed to fear. Fear, that one that um, changes who we are, changes our body, changes our mind, changes our spirit, cause us to live below our, our, our threshold, live below where God wants us to be, live below our position. He, so we need to move higher. If we are in fear, we cannot go higher. We cannot experience the things of God. Anywhere where there's fear is, there is sin. The Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. So that means that you are not, you don't have faith in the love of God. The same love that tells you that nothing whatsoever can separate you from God's love. That's the word of God. That means you don't have faith in the word of God that is found in Romans 8. Nothing whatsoever can separate us from the love of God. When we believe and when we walk in that knowledge, we will not experience fear. It will come, but we will push it away according to the word of God. Submit ourselves unto God. Resist the devil. Resist those negative thoughts. And he will flee from you. You will forget what you were thinking of. That thought that came against you, that caused you to wonder what's going on, that caused you to fear, will no longer plague you. I hope I'm talking to someone today. God bless you. Fear not.